In this video, we're going to be using an extension within Visual Studio Code for SQLite. So what we'll do is we'll pull in the extension, and it's made by Alex CVZZZ. And then we'll open up the SQL database, select some tables, insert some records from within Visual Studio Code. So the first thing we'll do is we'll bring in our extension into VS Code. And what you want to search for is the SQL light. And then the extension we'll install is Alex XCVZZZ. And that's the one you want to install. And then once you install that, then we're ready to open up our database. In Windows, you want to hit Control Shift P and then open up your search bar and then search for SQL Lite. And this will give you a, a list of options. And the one we're after for now is to open our database. So select that and then select the database you want to open. So if you want to go into the file directory, in this case, I have the database right here within our Explorer. So I'll select that. That should open up a SQLite Explorer tab in your or window inside of your Explorer. Now, if that did not open up for you, go into here and then enable your SQLite Explorer. And here we could view the database. This database we created in the last video when we were, were reviewing DB browser for SQLite. If you missed that video, that will show up up here in the top right. Select that and you could view that video. And in that video, we created these tables. So I'm just going to right click on the post, show table. And this will show all the information within our table. We can even run queries against our database. If you right click on post, for example, and you can run a new query to select everything. And if you actually want to run this command here, you, you need to highlight it, right click on it, and then run query. And this will do the exact same thing. It will select everything from our post table. Now, if you would like to export this to HTML, CSV, or JSON, you could do it by selecting these buttons. So let's go ahead and export it. You, you want to name it. I'll leave it as the default name, and I'll hit OK and it creates a copy of this table in JSON format. Let's go ahead and insert something into one of our tables. So I'll close this down and then I'll right click on post again and then insert. And again, to run this, you want to highlight it, right click and run query. And then we can go ahead and view everything again. So I'll go and right click on it, select everything, Oh, I actually already had that open here, but that's fine. I'll highlight it, right click and run query. And now we have a new record in our database. And one more thing, if you want to close your database, hit control shift P again, and then search for a SQL light. And then you're looking for a closed database and this will shut everything down and select the database you want to close. And that will close everything down. And that's pretty much it for using this extension. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.